Thank you, Jen. A few uh, on immigration really quick. Merrick Garland was asked yesterday if illegal entry at the border should remain a crime, and he said, I haven't thought about that question. Does President Biden believe that illegal entry at the border should remain a crime moving forward? Well, like, I think he was at being asked as uh, the attorney general, the future attorney general. I think he's looking to head to be confirmed uh, of the United States. And if he wants to make considerations independently, he can certainly do that. Uh, but the president's spoken to this, and we believe in abiding by our laws. As you know, there, of course, is a process underway at the Department of Homeland Security to uh, re uh, to take a fresh look at prioritization uh, and who uh, is detained and who is sent back home. Uh, so that is something happening from the Department of Homeland Security. But uh, again, if he's going to lead an independent Justice Department, and it's his prerogative to take a look at uh, you know, any policies under their purview. And to that point, why is the Biden administration reopening a temporary facility for migrant children in Texas? Well, um, first, uh, the policy of this administration, as you well know, but just for others, is not to expel unaccompanied children who arrive at the border. Uh, and the process, how it works, is that uh, Customs and Border Control uh, con uh, continue to transfer unaccompanied children to the HHS Office of Refugee Resettlement. That can take a couple of days. I just want to give this context because so people need to understand the process. But because of COVID-19 protocols, uh, the like social distancing requirements, the capacity of existing Office of Refugee Resettlement shelters has been significantly reduced because, of course, you can't have a child in every bed. Um, there needs to be spacing, and we abide by those spacing to protect the kids um, who are um, living in those facilities for a short period of time. And to ensure the health and safety of these kids, HHS took steps to open an emergency facility to add capacity where these children can be provided the care they need while they are safely before they are safely placed with families and sponsors. So it's a temporary reopening during COVID-19. Our intention is very much to close it, but we want to ensure that we can follow COVID, state, COVID protocols uh, as, we, uh, as, we, as unaccompanied minors come into the United States. But it's the same facility that was open for a month in the Trump administration, summer 2019. That is when Joe Biden said, under Trump, there have been horrifying scenes at the border of kids being kept in cages. And Kamala Harris said, uh, basically, babies in cages is a human rights abuse being committed by the United States government. So how is this any different than that? We very much feel that way. Uh, and so the, these are facilities. Let me, be, let me be clear here. One, there's a pandemic going on. I'm sure you're not suggesting that we have children right next to each other uh, in ways that are not COVID safe, are you? I'm suggesting that Kamala Harris said that this facility, putting people in this facility, was a human rights abuse committed by the United States government. And Joe Biden said, under Trump, there have been horrifying scenes of border uh, at the border of kids being kept in cages. Now, it's not under Trump, it's under Biden. This is not kids being kept in cages. This is, this is kids, this is a facility that was opened that's going to follow the same standards as other HHS facilities. It is not a replication, certainly not. The, that's, that is never our intention of replicating the immigration policies of the past administration. But we are in a circumstance where we are not going to expel unaccompanied minors at the border. That would be inhumane. That is not what we are going to do here as an administration. We need to find places that are safe under COVID protocols for kids to be, where they can have access to education, health and mental services, consistent with their best interests. Our goal is for them to then uh, be transferred to families or sponsors. So this is our effort to ensure that kids are treated are not clo in close proximity and that we are abiding by the health and safety standards that uh, the government has been set out. Just Go ahead. quickly on climate, mm -hmm. uh, last week the climate envoy John Kerry said that there are only nine years left to save the world from the effects of climate change. Does President Biden share that assessment, nine years? I don't have a new timeline to, to give you from here. I can confirm for you, though, that the President agrees with former Secretary Kerry that it's a crisis, uh, that time is of the essence. We need to act quickly, uh, and that's why climate is a key part of his agenda.